I get preferential treatment at the Motel 6, so you better leave the light on for me because I'm bringing the room service. Housekeeping! Trying to go! Ah, soccer slash football without Vuvuzelas. And check this out, there's way better officiating in FIFA 11 than the World Cup. It's like the refs are actually paying attention and are aware of the rules. He's got his... That must have been very close. Where'd they find these guys? They should hire them for the next World Cup. They should send somebody back in time like the Terminator and erase the Vuvuzela from existence before it was even created. My ears still hurt from those goddamn things. And here's a shot! Anyway, let's talk about this game seriously for a m wait, oh, I forgot what show this was. Never mind. <laughs> Cue the awesome music from the FIFA 11 soundtrack and let the carnage begin. Take that, Flyers. Here's a new feature in this game that I really like. They call it be a pro goalkeeper. I call it play like an asshole. Now here is a chance for them. The ref right on top of that incident foul. We have the technology to modify Tim Howard to play like an asshole. Can he do it? Yes! Why am I being penalized for that? This is exactly how you're supposed to play this mode in FIFA 11. Unbelievable! Why waste your goaltender in the goal when you can use them for a tactical offensive advantage by playing like an asshole? Now which button activates the Tim Howard chainsaw arm? To be fair, you don't always have to play like an asshole, although it does help. You can also play FIFA 11 as if you were really playing the game. Or at least had an interest in it. I mean, you're really just pushing buttons. Let's not fool ourselves. You know, that, that's why these guys in real life get the girls and the Range Rovers. I mean, they actually play the sport. So clearly they should add the girls and Range Rovers mode into FIFA 12. The better you do, the more girls and Range Rovers you get. And then you should be able to crash the Range Rovers into things. Like other players. I feel a strange urge to buy something from Puma. I gotta tell you, I find the music in the game during the menus and whatnot to be really catchy. It's not the usual crop of five or six songs that seem to be repeated in Madden and the other EA Sports games. These aren't tracks you'll typically hear on US radio, that's for sure. Variety is good, excellent job in the audio department, EA Sports. Cheers! Here's another mode, play like you're drunk. This is awesome. I think it's safe to say that you can have just as much fun playing FIFA 11 as you had in FIFA 10 plus one. Well, maybe it's more than just one. There's actually a couple enhancements. You can compete 11 versus 11 online. And each player in the game now has personality plus. Now the players in the game are more human than human. They're like replicants, except they're really good at football slash soccer. Each of these players has 36 attributes and 57 traits, meaning if a certain player has a gambling problem in real life, it's in the game. When you pass to them and they're not there, that's because they're gambling and left the match without you even noticing it. That's personality plus. There's also a bunch of other things like pro passing and customizable tools where you can go online in the creation center to create a player or team that frankly wasn't nearly as intuitive as the creation mode in Madden or NHL 11. This one's a bit more involved. As far as I can tell, the game looks and plays pretty much like FIFA 10 or the uh, World Cup game, meaning the game is smooth, looks great, and it is fun to play. Especially when you play like an a**hole. I haven't figured out the secret button combination to punch out the refs yet, but I'm sure it's in there. Somewhere. Somebody find it. Or at least 
Incorporate that into FIFA 12 as well as the Chicks and Range Rovers mode. You could combine the two, drive over the refs with a Range Rover full of chicks, and then go gambling. It's FIFA 11, one less than 12, but two more than nine. Comes in with a tackle. In he goes. Well, the referee tried to play the advantage. Yeah, signaling to the sideline, maybe for a stretch of... Referee's reaching for his pocket. That means he's off, he's already been booked. Well, he looks disappointed, but he had to go, in my opinion. 